what's going on everybody and welcome to a brand new video on this channel today is actually the third day i believe yeah the third day i'm trading on this 25k account i started it on tuesday we were up around four and a half percent then i took a trade yesterday i forgot to record it because i forgot about this entire challenge but we did end up losing around four percent due to news i was a little bit distracted i took a position before news and then news just kind of took me out right away so uh, I'm back in another AOD USD position here after news this time uh, going long. <clears throat> I just checked the daily time frame is bullish. We can clearly see price wants to head on up. We do have levels of liquidity that needs to be taken out. We head on down to the four hour. We can clearly see the four hour is bullish. You can catch an intraday trade maybe to these four hour highs up here and you look at the one hour one hour is also bullish pull back and then so 15 minutes as well so every time frame is looking bullish uh, i did manage to find a demand zone right here after we closed above structure point so all i'm waiting for is um, price to kind of just take out these highs i am aiming for a one to three and a half risking around two percent on this account with my challenges i like to go a little bit more heavier risk we can clearly see price right now is reversing. I like to go a little bit heavier just so I could pass faster. Um, I don't mind taking, you know, the hit if I do end up blowing it because then I'll just buy another account and go aggressive again. Because that's what I noticed with some of my accounts. I'm able to pass them fairly well when I go high risk on, on trades just because I know if I take one loss, it's 2%. But if I take a win and I aim for a one to three, it's just going to be crazy. I think at the end of the day, it's down to probabilities and it's down to your risk to reward. I don't know. I just kind of grew impatient trying to pass these two phase challenges. They take way too long. And then at some point you just, you're, you're like too deep to let go of the account. You're like months and months in, into this challenge and you've earned nothing. Whereas if you were to reduce your account size, say to like a 10 K five K because they're a lot cheaper. And then you go high risk to try to pass quick, then it'll be a lot better. Cause then say if you buy a five K account for 32 bucks on uh, funding pips, and you're able to risk 3%, 4% per trade, knowing that if it does hit the take profit, then you'll pass the account within like a week or so. And then you pass the other account within either a couple of days or another week or so. And now you have a fully funded account and that's where you can take it slow. That's where you can risk half a percent, maybe 1% per trade. But with a 5K, eh, it's about $32. I don't mind risking more if even on the funded stage for a $32 account. If it was a 25K or a 50K account, yeah, then I'll reduce the risk because then I know I can make a lot of money to help buy me accounts. But with a 50K account, if you're risking 1% for 2%, you're risking 50 bucks for $100. $100 nowadays can't really buy you anything aside from maybe it can't even buy you a 10K account, like maybe a 5K account you can get. If you're doing a 5K challenge, I definitely recommend risking a lot. I know a lot of traders say you got to build discipline that only applies to your personal account. Uh, it's good to practice building discipline right now so that you have it for your personal account. But if you're taking these challenges and you're well versed and experienced as I am with taking these challenges, like I've been taking challenges for years now, I've kind of, you know, grew impatient and I found out that I do have the discipline for a personal or funded account. I don't have the patience for a challenge account, knowing that I'm not earning any money and I'm taking months on end to try to pass a 5K or 10K or even 25K account. If it's a 100K account or if it's a 200K account, I fully understand. I fully recommend taking your time because that's life changing money. That's money that if you risk 1% to get 1%, it's a thousand bucks coming into you extra per week, especially with your um, other high earning job, uh, not high earning, but your other job that you might have. But yeah, if you have like a 5K, 10K account, just go high risk because you're risking $32 at the end of the day. So if you blew it, that's fine. Wait a couple weeks, maybe wait for your next paycheck, buy another one and then hit it again. And then what I like to do is then if I do pass it, I like to take the money I earn and purchase a new account. So I did have my funded 10K account and I saved up some of my profits from that to buy this 25K account just so I don't use quote unquote banks money, uh, the banks money to be able to, or like my money in terms of banks, my, I mean my money. So I'm just focusing on the trade here. But I don't like using the bank's money, which is my money, because then if I lose my money, it's a little different than if I lose the house's money. So I basically passed the account, took the profits, and then I use the house's money to buy this 25K account. So if I blow this account, it's no problem because it's not my personal funds. It's the funds I earned from trading. You see, it's like a business, right? You take your profits and you reinvest it to grow. You know, you put the initial amount in, but then you you take the profits, reinvest it, and then you grow the uh, account. But right now, the trade is going well. If you want, I can probably make a whole blueprint plan for these 
challenge accounts. I've just recently kind of been creating this blueprint for myself. So I'll definitely jot up some notes and ideas that I can definitely provide you guys in a video. But let's just enjoy this trade. I'm going to mute up and turn off my webcam as always and let you guys watch the trade. All right, well, um, I'm just gonna probably end it off here just because it is taking some time for it to hit my TP. So, excuse me, I'm gonna just bring it back whenever anything does happen. So yeah, I'm just gonna cut it off right here. It's been 51 minutes. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, everything worked out we managed to hit take profit fully so this is actually an extended take profit my take profit was around a one two three round down here but i held it for a little bit longer to try and secure the first phase pass and it, it did happen uh i did reach the eight percent target in one day just because i risked two percent on this trade uh, and so I aim for a one to four is around 8%. I am literally up by $2.66. That's how close it was. I almost held not clicking the X button, letting it go up a little bit more so that I have that cushion. But thank God I am above that 8% target. And we can see it just flipped bearish, like completely bearish. This thing could go all the way down to around here or even all the way back down to break even. I did have stops to break even. So just in case of price reverse, uh, it was a risk-free trade regardless, but I did manage to pass the first phase of the 25k account. Now we're just gonna wait for the credentials and everything and get the second phase going. Now my balance does say 27k on it, so I'm up $2,000 on the first phase. I don't know, if, if, if everything goes well, hopefully next week you guys will be able to see me start trading on that second phase account. But yeah, that's basically it for the video. I'll see you guys all next week.